Meanwhile, the captain of that super yacht that sunk off the coast of Italy, killing seven people last week, the captain is now the subject of a manslaughter investigation. Prosecutors now saying, quote, it is likely that the crimes of culpable shipwreck and manslaughter were committed. And now it's only a matter of who's going to get charged. Trace right now is maritime lawyer Alex Perez. Alex, good morning to you. Good morning. So what happened was there was like a little uh, a water spout. It's like a little tornado, uh, part of a storm. It came, and uh, now apparently the captain says, I didn't see the storm. But at the same time, the shipbuilder said that ship should not, that yacht should not have sunk. So the question is, what's right? Well, I think there are right now two competing theories, and it looks like the prosecutors are ruling one of those theories out and moving to one where potentially there's more culpability on the captain. The two competing theories are, one, something like a water spout or a, a water tornado, under which that's essentially an act of God, under which really no amount of precaution can prevent that sinking. The other theory, and it looks like that's where the Italian prosecutors are going, is something like a downpour or a downburst, a localized heavy amount of rainfall, Sailboats and, and most vessels encounter heavy storms every day, but that both theories explain a fast sinking, but one, the downburst, puts a little bit more culpability on the captain. Yeah, indeed. Uh, but he said he didn't see the storm coming, although you see some of that video right there. Um, Alex, there is precedent. Uh, back in the day when the Costa Concordia, the big cruise ship, uh, you know, had the problems and dozens of people uh, died, that captain was sentenced to, I think, over a dozen years in prison. That, that's correct. It's, it's, there is precedence for this. And, and the, the Costa Concordia was a 2012 cruise ship that sank in Italy. Um, about 32 people died. The captain of that ship was charged and convicted with manslaughter. I think he got 16 years. So this is not unheard of, although it is very unfortunate. It is very unfortunate. And, of course, uh, initially the story made headlines because there was a British tycoon by the name of Mike Lynch on board. And it, it does appear that, uh, you know, he was in, he, he and some others were, uh, because the ship had, the boat had capsized, they simply were unable to get out. It, it, it raises some alarming questions, which is, and I understand there's some facts that the vessel sank very fast, but at the same time, from cruise ships to vessels of this size, the captain is responsible for doing what's called a mustard drill, explaining right. in an emergency, when we only have minutes, what should you be doing? And unfortunately, from the facts of this case, it looks like several passengers were stuck in their cabin. When there's water intrusion, they can't get out. So it's there's other places that are better for uh, the crew and, and the passengers to be in, in an unfortunate situation like this, or perhaps some of them could have survived. Yeah, indeed. It, it's just a terrible story. Let's see what the Italian authorities decide to do. Alex, thank you very much for joining us from uh, South Florida. Thank you. You bet.